Okay, great. Um, good evening, everyone. I'd like to welcome everyone who is here tonight from around the country. I want to thank you for giving us the privilege of your presence. Uh, we're happy that you're here. Today is going to be very quick. It's about helping us prospect like a pro and how to get immediate yeses without being pushy. Uh, I ran this presentation a few days ago uh, on Thursday in a meeting, and the results were phenomenal. We tested the training immediately with some prospects, and we got 120% results. What does that mean? It meant that every prospect that was around on that day signed up, and it meant that everybody who used it for someone else immediately after that meeting got an immediate yes as well. I'm aware of two other people, or uh, about four other people who came on board as a consequence of that meeting. And that meeting was in Lagos at the office, and we said, you know what, let us take this meeting around Nigeria. Let us make it into a presentation so that people can participate in that presentation. People can get to learn what we are learning in our small corner in Lagos and everybody can benefit from this. I dare say that everybody who is listening tonight will, would love the opportunity to know that they can present from tomorrow and every time they present, they can get immediate yeses. If I ask tonight how many people would love to get immediate yeses, I'm sure your hands will be up. And I think that's a good thing because all of us also have immediate yeses. One of the things I try to share on Thursday and I'm sharing with you here today again as well, is that merely listening to this presentation and understanding what we're talking about today will help you double your results. So if you are achieving a particular income level before, expect your income level to double over the next three months. This will help you have more signups. This will help you talk to more people. This will help you be more out there and more successful in doing your business. This is a new paradigm from driving network marketing. And I learned some of his lessons from a guy called Cesar Rodriguez, who shared it. I will give credit to him because I learned some of them from his presentation, and I think it's beautiful. I have been inculcating these principles in my business, and they have been, wow, they have been really amazing. And if you are here tonight, and you would like to double your income, you'd like to move to six digits, seven digits income, you would like to grow your business and grow your team, you like all your team members to be plugged on, excited, and doing the business, just type there in the window and say, yes, you know, because that's what we want to do tonight. And I'm going to try and run through this as quickly as I can so that we can learn, we can share. I'd like us to, you know, not do too much touching and touching so that we don't get to uh, stain the slide so much. If you've done that, you can just erase it. Today, we're going to be talking about how to prospect like a pro. How to prospect like a pro. You know, so we're going to teach how to prospect like a pro because guess what? You can prospect like a pro. And you can get immediate yeses every time the opportunity comes up and you will learn how to do that tonight. So listen to me tonight. I'm going to record tonight's presentation as well. We're 30 in the room. I'm going to record it and make it available somewhere online so that we can, you know, we can get to listen and learn and with our team members as it is progress. Okay, I can see somebody that is raising, raising their hands. Just pay attention. In the next few minutes, we're going to be done because this is online. We'll probably able to run through it much faster and get results a lot much faster as well. Okay, um, so let's, you know, let's pay attention and follow that rule. So, of course, the first thing I'd like to share with you is how do I get immediate yeses? The first thing in network marketing, the first thing you need to put into position is your attitude, is the way you are looking at things, is the way you, know, you have, you have you know what, this is how I want to do this business, this is how I want to make it, this is exactly what I want to do. Okay, uh, so if you have that view correctly, please unmute uh, mute your system so that you can not have to interfere with the presentation. Mute the system. Can there's a way to look for the volume and see how you mute it uh, so that you can keep it. Uh, yeah. Don't worry, making a lot of noise from somewhere. Okay, don't worry, I'll attend to that. I'll attend to that and so that we can all. Uh, someone is. Someone is. Just look at your system. If you are the one who is uh, making noise, just mute it. If you are not on mute, mute so that you can, you know, uh, everybody can listen. Uh, 
Okay, um, I think this one has muted already. That's good. It's an infinite hot, infinite hot that is making the noise. Okay, good. I can see a number of no faces in the house tonight. Um, let's let's get let's get digging into it. Like I said. With you earlier, uh, to you earlier. Uh, sorry for that break in transmission. Like I shared with all of us earlier, um, you get more results. Your sales will double. Your closer rates will double. Your team will be plugged in. Things will go on very well if you can change and adapt to the things you're going to learn tonight. So very quickly, the very, very first key step is your attitude, your mental attitude. Uh, how do you see this? Business? How do you see the business, and how can you be value? Uh, from the business? How can you ensure that you are doing this the way you should do it? And the very first thing I like to address is a mental attitude. And I like this mental attitude that I, I got from the person I shared that I got it from. Uh, he called it B10XB. Okay, B10XB. If you are taking notes tonight, you can write that down somewhere. B10XB. B10XB. And what exactly does B10XB mean? B10XB means be 10 times bolder. And this guy said that the secret of success of breaking limiting paradigms of breaking your current results in network marketing is B10XB. And what does this mean? B10XB means be 10 times bolder. And what's the psychology behind this? Psychology behind this essentially is saying every good thing that you have achieved in life, getting married to that, your beautiful wife, hooking up with that, your fantastic husband, your career progress, your business progress, the opportunities you've taken in life, the opportunities you've taken advantage of in life, are all a function of a bold decision. Now, you and I can look back in our lives and see that our lives are made up of bold moments in which we took a decision, we took the mantle to do something passionately, and we got amazing results. Success happens when we are bold. So when we act out of boldness, we're able to get amazing results. Now, because we're able to get amazing results when we act out of boldness, we can look back and say, you know what? If I can be bolder, if I can be bolder in my life and do things based on boldness, I can achieve more results. If I can do things based on more boldness in my life, I can achieve a lot more results. And B10XB says, if you want to prospect successfully, if you want to be able to prospect more, you know, get more people signed up, get more people in the business, get a lot of things done through your team, you need to wear this mental attitude of B10XB. And how does that work? Essentially, it's saying, you know what? Whenever I see a prospect, I will ask myself a fundamental question. I will tell myself, I want to speak to this person. I like to share the opportunity with this person. What will I do if I was 10 times bolder? What will be my reaction today if I was 10 times bolder? If I was 10 times bolder, what would I do? Will I speak to the prospect? Now, if my answer is if I was 10 times bolder, I will speak to the prospect. Then I will go ahead and speak to the prospect. If my attitude is B10XB. So every time I'm going around, B10XB is like a paradigm, is a, is a fear breaker. It helps me to look at life from a different lens. It helps me break my neurotransmissions about the fear of being rejected. You know, many people, they don't want to talk to people because all through their lives, they've been conditioned to think, don't talk to strangers. They've been conditioned to think, don't, you don't just go to somebody you don't know and tell them anything. Meanwhile, every day, we are, we're standing on the road. We ask a complete stranger, please, I'm looking for the way. Even today, it happened to me. I was going for a wedding somewhere and I asked the person, where can I find this church? And they said, oh, just go left, turn right, turn to this. I spoke to the person because it was a stranger, but I was lost and I wanted to find my way, so I spoke. So even though we had grown up with the mentality of don't speak to strangers, don't just go and bump into people, beaten XB is the paradigm you wear. That makes you ask yourself, you know what, do I want to break this new transmission, this, this new association? Well, I've associated pain with asking someone who is a stranger a question because of my upbringing, because of the experience I've had, maybe in school, when I asked a girl out and she nailed me, I has formed a pain reaction to being bold and asking someone who you are meeting for the first time about, you know, will they, be, will they like to join you in a meeting? You know, we, we try to build rapport with strangers and those kind of things. So this b b attitude says, whenever you find yourself, whenever you find yourself in a place to make a decision, like tonight, you want to make a decision about your business, you want to do something, uh, you want to write your prospect list, you want to do something incredible for your business and requires boldness, ask yourself, if I was 10 times bolder, how, what would I do? 
um, by doing this and training yourself to follow this pattern, you begin to break the neural associations. You begin to set yourself free because one of the things that prevents people from building their business the most in this life is fear. Fear is false evidence appearing real. Is consequences that would never happen. Is advanced payments for problems you've never owned. Is basically being fearful of you know what if you say no. Uh, one of the great things about prospecting like a pro is you must learn to dissociate yourself from the consequence or the result of that prospecting. What does that mean? I'll say that again. If I'm talking to someone and I want the person to join my business, the reason why we're afraid to do it is because we feel if he doesn't answer me on the affirmative or if she says no, I will feel bad. We are connected emotionally to the results of the outcome of our prospecting. Now, if I'm able to separate myself from that end result, I will be 10 XB. Okay? I will be 10 XB, meaning if I speak to this person and this person says no, it doesn't change anything. I have given the person an opportunity. The person has not responded to the opportunity. That's all. Okay? Uh, so, for example, for what we are driving in Green Monday, for example, I can tell myself, Green Monday is bigger than about whether you join my team or not join my team. Green Monday is about we spreading health around the world. If you listen to all the testimonies on, of, of Rida, if you listen to all the, you know, the lives that have been transformed from their health, people who have challenges, they don't even know the names of, that have been taken care of and have been healed. If you look at all of this value, you say, you know what, this is a cost we are driving. This is a product that needs to be in every family. This is a product that needs to be in every house. So even if I talk to you and you don't join my team, no problem. I am spreading a cost. People are getting ill. High blood pressure is rampant even at younger ages. Terrible things are happening to people as far as their health is concerned. This is something we are trying to prevent and help people with. And this is the cost I'm driving. And if I say to speak to you and share my business opportunity with you, you don't join, it doesn't mean anything. It only means you didn't join the business opportunity. It means you have not come, in, you know, you have not come on board. It doesn't mean that anything will stop or anything will change. I don't know if you understand that. So I can see a number of people here who have not muted their systems. Sesime, please be on mute so that the voice doesn't interact from different places. It's important that we are all in mute so that um, we can all hear. Somebody says, I can't hear a thing. Okay? I can see some of us are here. So there's a chat box. If you need to communicate, you can communicate with the chat, 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 chat box and we can see what you're saying from there. Infinite Alt X, you need to mute. Sesime, you need to be on mute so that your voice does not interfere with the presentation. Okay, I'm just trying to bust that in so that that doesn't distract us from what we're doing. So please, anybody who is, if you have your audio still on, just peg your audio so that you don't, your, what you're saying there does not interfere with the presentation as well. Uh, I don't know if Sesime is listening to us, but this is important. Thank you. Okay, so we'll progress. Um, can we pro proceed? If you can still hear me, you can drop it in the voice box that you can still hear. I'd like to know those who can hear. Uh, drop it in the chat message. I can hear you. Just for check to know that we're progressing together uh, in an interesting and amazing way. So just drop there and say, I can hear you. Uh, it will let me know that at least you're listening. Okay, good. I can hear you. Thank you very much, Kechi. Thank you, Chuku. Awesome. So let's progress. So this NXP is about making sure that every time you want to speak to a prospect, and I was asking in the, in the offline meeting, I said, how many of us, when was the last time you shared your business with anybody? And somebody said yesterday. Somebody said today. I said, when was the last time you saw somebody, you wanted to share the opportunity with, but you didn't? And somebody said this morning, this afternoon, yeah, yesterday. Now, because many of us are passing over opportunities repeatedly, and not the opportunity of joining the business, but the opportunity of sharing the opportunity. So many of us pass people daily, and we don't share because we're afraid. We're afraid of the consequences of that communication. We're afraid they might say no. But guess what? This is about spreading healthcare. It's about spreading good living. It's about spreading natural health. It's about giving the world values that they didn't have before. It's about helping people who didn't know that they have you know, challenges, Realize they have challenges and solve them. It's about helping people prevent cancer before it happens. It's about helping people prevent oxidative stress before it damages their cells, damages their joints, damages their heart, damages their organs, damages their eyes. This is basically pushing something that should be in every home, not only in Nigeria, not only in Africa, but around the world. And because of this course, if I need to talk to you about it, 
If you join my business, fantastic. We can spread the cost together. If you don't join my business, you can still have a 30 mils bottle because I love you and I want life to be better for you. And I know that people are taking a lot of junk so that it can be more. So B10XB is a mental attitude that allows you to burn through the, you know, through the pain and get the results you want to get. I tell you when you go to a gym because you want a slim body, you want a nice structure, you want to be healthy. Is it painful? Yes. Why is it painful? If I exercise today a particular muscle, why is it painful? It's painful because it's not something I'm used to doing. Okay? And because it's not something I'm used to doing, I feel pain there. But does that make me stop? No, it makes me continue because when I burn through the pain, then I have a new experience. Then I have the muscle that I'm looking for. I have a toning that I want to have. The same thing with your business. The B10XB mentality makes you talk to more people, makes you close more sales, makes you, you know, achieve different things. And I tell people, why is this important? It's important as a precursor to what I want to teach about today because if I teach you how to ensure that everybody says yes to you every time you speak to them about your business, you will get no results if you don't speak to anybody. So it's like that woman who went to church and they prayed for her and they said, you know what, yeah, by virtue of this prayer today, you will give birth in nine months' time to a bouncing baby boy. And she received it and said, I believe. You know, then she got home and her husband was trying to sleep with her. And she said, no, 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 no. Is she going to get pregnant? No. Because what? Because the fact that you have learned or you have a gift that has said you will give birth to a child in nine months' time means that you also have a responsibility to ensure that you get the baby inside. You get something, you do something, you know, to ensure that that prophecy can come to pass. The same thing. What you're about to learn in the next few minutes will empower you to drastically present one-on-one, one-on-three, one-on-four in one -on -one, one -on -one, public presentations to people in a way that they will say yes immediately. They will not procrastinate. They will not say tomorrow. They will not say next week. They will do it immediately. But guess what? If you're going to do that and achieve results, then you must be speaking to people. And what will make you speak to more people is when you have this mental attitude that says B10XB. Okay? B10XB. So once you are be 10 times bolder, once you're operating with the paradigm of being 10 times bolder, guess what? You can achieve a lot more results. I can hear one person saying, I can't hear anything. Please log out, log in, mute your phone or your laptop, and then you will hear clearly. And guess what? If you don't hear clearly, I will ensure that this is recorded so that you can get it online as well. I'll give you a link so that you can plug in on the link, listen to everything, watch everything from the comfort of your room as well. Uh, today we have 34 people in the room. That's very good. Um, that's very good because this can multiply in days to come. This room can take a hundred people. So we can do bigger meetings. We can do trainings. We'll be doing a lot of training here. So I'd like to welcome you as the first set of people who are participating in this wind. And if you have seen some of your earnings in Green Monday these days, uh, if you're participating in what's going on, you'll be excited because right now more than ever before, uh, 1 million, 5 million, 10 million a week is possible. I tell you, it is possible. Right? You can achieve phenomenal things if you do this business right. So what do we want to do? The attitude to break our paradise and limits is B10XB. And once you're clear about B10XB, the next thing you want to do, okay, is how do I get people to say yes to me every time? How do I get people to say yes to me every time? So there's a immediate yes formula. And I'd like you to master this formula. Everybody who is doing Great Monday business, you need to master this formula. And I'll tell you something for free. One of the things that distinguishes us from every other opportunity out there is what you are going through tonight. It is training. If you have been, if you have been with us, if you have been with me and you have interacted with me for a while, you know how passionate I am about development. And this is what we bring to the table. Everyone who is here, you will be an incredibly different person five years from now because of the books you have read and the people you have met. And I want to congratulate you for taking this opportunity of Green Monday because you will be developed. The development will happen here non-stop. And this will not only impact your Green Monday business, it will impact every other business you do as well. Because how you do one thing is how you do everything. And if you master this here, you know, we call network marketing a business school. And that's because of the training to receive, because of the practical experiences you have. If you gain this here, you can apply it anywhere. So what's the, what's the master? What's the... Yes formula, the immediate yes formula. Now, this is not just yes formula. This is an immediate yes formula. How does it work? It says IY equals to A plus S plus P plus I plus TC plus R. Okay? And if you don't like mathematics, don't worry. You don't need to like mathematics to be good at this. 
If you don't like mathematics, just pay attention. Learn this together with us. This is something that everybody should do. So what does it mean? It means immediate yes equals action plus solution plus problem plus you know, information plus trust and credibility plus rapport. An immediate yes is a function of action, solution, problem, information, trust, credibility, and rapport. If you can master and present with this immediate yes formula in mind, your results will go through the roof. Your income will be unbelievable. You will be excited about your business. You'll be clocking in sign-ups on a regular or daily basis. Your business will be exciting. Your team members will be plugged in and your income will touch seven, eight digits. I'm sharing this with passion because I have seen this works. And our first meeting we did, we had a hundred percent everybody prospect that was around signed up. And the next meeting we did, people that did stuff with it got hundred percent signed up on people that they spoke to as well. This works. Okay, this works. So what you worry about now is how can I learn this? How can I master this? And it starts gradually. So I don't expect you to get 100% results at the beginning. In fact, I don't expect 100 results at all. I shared with the group that I mentioned on Thursday. I said to them, you know what? Someone did a research and it said the average numbers in network marketing is 10%. So if you speak to 10 people, one should sign up. This is the average of the standard networker. I have learned some networking. I have some basic skills. I am expected to get 10%. If you get 40%, you are good. If you get 40%, you are in the top 10% echelon. You are a master. You understand, you know, you have social, you have what they call emotional intelligence. You know how to communicate well with people. You know how to make deposits, how to make withdrawals. Building rapport is very challenge for you. You are a natural or you are a master. You're skilled. If you can get 40%. And I, I was telling them in the class and I'm sharing with you again as well. If you get 80% every time you present to people, you are a fraud, okay? 80% means you are presenting something that is not true. Now, I'm sure there are days you get 100, there are days you get zero, there are days you get 10%. This will double your odds. If you are 10%, normally it will take you 20, 30, 40%. If you are getting 80%, you are lying to people. If you get 80% regularly, we need to check what you're doing, what you're telling people, because guess what? It can't be that good, okay? So typically, if you are getting 100%, 80% of your results because you're telling people, just bring your money, do nothing, and you'll earn. It means you're telling them, come and, come and invest here. Don't do any business. Because not everybody's going to say yes to opportunity, even when they're looking at it and they're holding it with both hands. But this immediate yes formula, the signature of this immediate yes formula is when you speak to people, more often than not, you will get them to close. If they won't close, you will know that this one is not qualified for my business. Because when you are presenting, what you're doing is not passionately trying to force aggressively sell something to somebody else. It's about putting yourself in the role of a consultant and asking yourself, if I am in this person's shoes, will I do this business? And guiding them to see the reason why they need to do the business because being in their shoes, you can consult with them, you can show them why this is a phenomenal opportunity. But this formula is what I want to talk about in the next few minutes. This is what you need to master. If you are still with me, I'd like to have your comments in the chat box by the side saying, I am here. If I get I'm here from 10 people, I'm happy. I know you are here and I know you are listening and I know that this is making sense to you. So I want to dig into this formula right now. Okay, I can see I'm here. Tuchuku is here. Who else is here? Like I get five people saying I'm here, I will progress. Okay, I can see. Oh, okay, good. We're here. Good. I can see that you can still hear me. So this formula, how does this formula work. I can see Olufun Layo, I can see Abraham Okoroba, I can see Kudus, I can see Adekule Alashi, I can see Chimwe Chilaka, I can see people are here. So let's, let's go on. So how do I operate this formula? There's a very interesting pyramid. And many of us who do this business, uh, we, we are familiar with pyramids. Some people feel, if, if you ask the pyramid shape, don't do it. I tell people everything in life that is stable and balanced has a pyramid shape. Okay, every house has a foundation that is deeper, bigger, stronger, has a flooring that is solid, and then it builds up like that. And this is the immediate yes formula. Now, let me run it through you very quickly. This is something you need to master. We need to become masters at this because in doing our business, one of the things that Green Monday is doing is Green Monday has three Ps. Three Ps. And these three Ps are going to be the core of our ideology. They're going to be the things that drive our business. They're the things that drive our thinking. This is how you will do your business. Okay, these three Ps. And one of these three Ps is prospecting. 
and you need to prospect professionally. And there are books on prospecting professionally. There are thoughts from Eric Waugh. There are thoughts from Don Filer. There are thoughts from Robert Kiyosaki. There are thoughts all over the world. We're going to pull it together and develop a way that suits Great Monday. And of course, it's prospecting, presenting, promoting. And I'm going to share what that means to you in a bit. But this is something we need to master. And how to master something means do it, try it, give yourself feedback, learn the lessons and keep building and keep building. So how do you ensure that everybody you talk to says yes? Number one thing on that board is action. So I'd like you to know that action. So ASP is very simple in Nigeria for assistant superintendent of police. So you have ASP ITR, okay? ASP ITR, action, solution, problem, information, trust, and credibility, and rapport. And how does this work? Rapport is the big foundation under everything. Trust and credibility is the next step. Information is after trust and credibility. When I gather information, I ask myself, what is the business problem? Can I state the problem as a hotspot? And then when I identify the problem, I provide a solution. And when I provide a solution, I tell them what action they need to take. Now, I'm going to break this down for you in an interesting way. But pay attention to this. So every time I want to speak with someone, I need to ask myself, have I built a rapport with this person? I don't just meet somebody for the first time and begin to yak them about my opportunity. Even if they've come for a presentation, you know, I ask questions like, who, is, who invited you? Why am I trying to ask those kind of questions? I want to connect with them from a rapport point of view. I want to show that I know the person who invited them, uh, that we have, a, you know, we have something going on between us. And because that person is my friend and is your friend, there's a piece for your rapport as well. In my presentation in Ibado, you know, the successful meeting we had, before I started, I asked them how many people came here from fresh radio how many people came here from lagelu how many people heard about this from you know from i mentioned three different channels what am i trying to do i'm trying to understand why are they here where are they come here from where do they hear about us from what is exciting for them you know and in doing this in in playing along like this i'm able to build rapport so the first thing you want to do is build rapport if you don't build rapport you will not gain trust and credibility so you want to build rapport, make sure you are connecting with your person. You know, where do you, you have an idea of the school they went to, their story in life. Find common points. Okay? Rapport is about mirroring, making sure that they can see a similarity between you and them. Then next is trust and credibility. Once you build rapport, then you need to have trust and credibility. And I tell people, this is where your dressing comes in. This is where your posture comes in. This is where your facts and knowledge comes in. Because credibility, people look at you and they can tell themselves, can this person recommend anything to me? People look at you and say, does this person know enough about what they're saying? People look at you, the way you're dressed, and feel, if you've made a millionaire doing this business, or if a millionaire is possible doing this business, why are you dressing shabbily? Trust and credibility is a function of your comportment, it's a function of your communication, it's a function of the facts you know, trust and credibility. And why are you trying to build trust and credibility? You're trying to build trust and credibility so that they can share information with you. People don't talk to people except they have a feeling that they can be helpful. So people want to share with you, people want to talk a lot, but they're asking, can this person help me? So trust and credibility is the foundation for information. And once you share information to you with you, listen, someone is telling you, ah, I have a problem in my marriage. Someone is telling you, I'm having this back pain. Someone is telling you, I need to pay my rent. Someone is telling you, my children's school fees. You want to gather as much information as possible. Now, this is easier in one-on-one -on -one meetings than in group meetings. So in group meetings, you have to be generic with the information, generic with the problems, generic with the solutions. But well, this is perfect for one-on-one -on -one meetings because one-on-one -on -one meetings is where we will have our key strength. People need to be able to talk to people one-on-one -on -one and invite them for a meeting. Talk to people one-on-one -on -one and invite them for a seminar. Talk to people one-on-one -on -one and invite them into the business. Okay? So one of the key things on our P presentation is a professional networker in Green Monday needs to do 15 presentations a month. Uh, that means I do it myself one-on-one -on -one, or I invite my people into meetings where I can count 15 people that I pass through in a month. And that's very simple. That's four a week, which is basically one on Monday, rest on Tuesday, one on Wednesday, rest on Thursday, rest on Friday, do two on Saturday and rest on Sunday. Perfect plan. Four in a week, 16 in a month, drop one. 15 in a month. If you're able to do that and you follow these formats, your results will be unbelievable. Now, once I've got that information, I want to be able to state the person's problem. I want to take the person's problem in a way that is a hotspot. People will respond quicker to an opportunity if it's a problem, if you identify their problem correctly and you provide the accurate information, the solution. 
So I tell people, people will say no to everything, but there are things that people would never say no to. People will never say no to their children's school fees. People will never say no to their house rent. People will never say no to being debt free. People will never say no to their next level. People will never say no to extra income. People will never say no to financial freedom. People will not say no to a holiday in Dubai. People will not say no to a number of beautiful things that if it captures their problem, they won't say no to a better relationship with their spouse. They won't say no to contributing more value in the home. They will not say no to these things. So you need to do the problem statement in a way that allows you to provide a solution. And every time you provide a solution, you must give an immediate action step. You must prefer an immediate action step. Never present and let it hang. Be 10x B means be bold and close. And how do you close? By giving an action step that, you know, that warrants immediate urgency. That warrants immediate action. People must take immediate action based on what you have shared. So guess what? If I speak with someone, and I have a few people who have some challenges hearing, uh, don't worry. Um, it's probably because of the network in your area. Once we are done, this will be available online. I'll give you a link that you can use to follow up on this. I'm trying to keep it brief to ensure that it doesn't extend too long so that you can listen to it in a short period of time, enjoy it, practice, practice, practice until you're doing exceptionally well. Okay, thank you very much for understanding. So if anything breaks down in this, the first place where it breaks down is in action. So if I present somebody and the person doesn't sign up immediately, I have bungled action. Now, and how do I make action exciting? I need to put an action step there to create a reason why today is better than tomorrow. I need to give you a reason why it is better for you to come on board today than wait to come on board tomorrow. How do you do that? The example I did on Thursday was I told them on Thursday, and I did it personally from my products. I told them on Thursday, anybody who signs up today gets a free bottle of 250 meals from me as extra. By making that proposition, I had given them a reason why today was better than tomorrow. So people could take their decisions and their actions today, knowing that if they took action today, they'll get an extra bottle from me. Now, all the sign-up packs you have, the products you are buying is not for sale. What the action pack, what the pack you're buying, what the value you have from your sign-up is for, is to create a team. Your biggest need in a network marketing uh, uh, orientation business is I want to build a team. Because that's where leverage income is. I tell people, do you want to be struggling with pharmacies, with your downlines 10 years from now? Is that what you really want to be doing? Do you want to be saying, I own, that, I, own that, you know, I own that pharmacy, I own this pharmacy, I own that store? No. What you want to do is you want to build a team where you can sit down in the comfort of your home Five years from now, refresh your laptop and watch your PV grow at 50,000 PV per hour just because you have built a team. I want you to call your team members around the world and ask you, Shegun, are you doing anything right now? And Shegun will say, no, I'm in a beach in Dubai. What's the problem? He said, well, my PV is growing at 5,000, 50,000 per hour and I'm wondering if you're the one doing it. I said, no, it's not me. I'm seeing the exact growth in my team. Somebody in my team must be doing it. I think it's somebody on my second leg. Uh, let me find out who he is. And then he calls Jamal. I said, Jamal, Morocco. What's going on in, in Morocco? He said, well, uh, one of my downlines is in uh, Sweden. He just opened up Sweden and people are pouring in like, you know, that's what you want to do. You want to have a team that is growing sporadically without you. You want to see your income rising even when you're not there. That's the beauty of passive income. That's what will happen to us in this business if we all learn to build correctly. It's not about hustling for farmers. So my products are to be used in ensuring I can create action. I can create urgency. Somebody wants to know why do I need to sign up today? Why not tomorrow? Why not next week? Why not next month? Why don't I wait until month end when I have a salary? No, because if you come on board today, I'm having a meeting tomorrow where I'm talking to 10 people. I'm going to be placing them under my team. If you're already positioned, you will benefit from that spillover. It's happening tomorrow. You're coming on board today. I need your yes now. Uh, so we can use a variety of things to create the action dynamic, but the action makes the yeses immediate. And guess what? In this business, we don't need tomorrow's yes. We don't need five years. Yes, we don't need that. I'm interested, but, I, but I'm already here. We need immediate response. And one of the things that creates is one, a mental attitude of B10XB. I'm bolder. And two, I closed my presentation with action. Now, if I failed to close my presentation with action, this is what happens. You can see the slide in front of you. They will post procrastinate. They will tell you, I'll be right back. The excuses of no action 
If you have no action happening there, the excuse is I want to think about it. How many of us have heard I want to think about it before? Somebody has told you these excuses. You can just drop it in the comments, the ones you have heard, amongst these comments that look like the kind of excuses you have heard. Do you have a brochure I can take with me? Let's see how you do first. Don't call me, I'll call you. I haven't made up my mind yet. Let me get back to you on this one. I'm excited to do this. I'll let you know when I'm ready. Don't call me, I'll call you. What's the difference between today and tomorrow? I need to talk about, to my husband about this. What I'm telling you is, you have bungled it in action. I'm going to look at the comment section for anybody who says this is the comment I hear. So share your comments with me. Let's know exactly what you hear. And you can send the message to everybody so that we can see. Okay? As long as I'm hearing very well. Thanks. So these are the kind of excuses that pop up when you have not closed with solid action. And for me, these days, you know, I was talking to somebody uh, yesterday. I was doing a three-way call with a team member who wanted me to support with a three-way call. And I told the person, I said, look, you know what? If you come on board within 12 hours, this is what I'm going to give you. Because in another 24 hours, this is what your upline is doing. This is the meeting that they have. This is the kind of people they want to bring into their team. And I would like you to be on top of them. You are coming from worry. Worry is a hot zone for this business. People are not very actively driving this business as they ought to from worry. It will be an exciting opportunity to have you on this team, but you need to do it within the next 24 hours. Okay? Excuses come from not mastering the way yes formula. Okay? Um, that's where it comes from. So procrastination can be solved by ensuring you have something for action. So whenever you are presenting, your closing remarks needs to give an offer of something, show value for why today is better so that people can take action based on what you've shared with them. I hope this is clear enough to you. Now, why is my action not closing well? Usually, my action will not close well if, I hope, we can, I hope we can all see the slides. The slides are visible to us, and I hope you can all see my face as well. Uh, I don't know if you can see my face. Uh, but I hope you can. So let me know. You can see my face. You can see the slides. You're hearing clearly. Oh, someone says no slide here. Are you joking? Someone says both. What does that mean? You can see the slides, and you can see my face. It means you can see both. Okay? So I can see that Dr. Fuma, you can see both. I can see both. So if you cannot see the slides, something wrong, you should be able to see the slides. Uh, I can see the slides, so I, I'm sure the slides are here. Uh, I have a, a mock-up I'm using to look at it as well, so I can see my face and I can see the slides. So you should be seeing the slides if everything is going well. So I can see the face. You look down, if it's on your phone, look down somewhere there, you'll see the face. Uh, and if it's... Uh, well, if you can see the slides, that's fine. If you can see the slides, I can hear my voice. Don't worry. My face... You'll get to see my face. <laughs> so, action is faulty because solution is incorrect. So, if your action is giving you this pr procrastination and this kind of result, is because you have not preferred the right solution. And what happens when the solution you are preferring is not correct? Let's examine that. Once solution is missing, if solution is missing from people's vocabulary, the answer will be no. People will give you a flat outright no. They will tell you, I don't have money. They tell you, I've got a lot going on right now. They will share with you, I'm skeptical. Someone will tell you very boldly, I'm not interested. Somebody will say to you, this looks like a pyramid. And they'll say, it's not for me. Why? Because your solution is not their solution. They will, be not, they will not be interested. They'll be obliterated into no interest. They won't care to act or want to do anything. So the solution is very important. It's very, very important to get the solution correctly. And, I, and let me give you an example. So I'm talking to somebody and the person is sharing information with me and he says, you know what, my biggest problem right now is my, it's my rent. It's going to be due in three months and I don't even know where it's going to come from. And I'm saying, wow, wow. You know, I was in that same position. Uh, but there's something very interesting. Also, you know, what if I showed you a way in which you can pay this rent over the next three months? At least make a deposit of half and then over the next three months you can balance the rest. <coughs> Will you be interested? And the person said, well, really? Can I say a way I can do that? Yes, I'll be interested. I said, okay, well, uh, there's this business I joined. I think it's a fantastic business. Um, Green Monday. The product is awesome. People's testimonies 
are heartwarming. If, even if I don't make money from this business, I'm excited and thrilled about how much positive testimonies are coming out from products that I'm sharing with friends, sharing with family, sharing with people. My mother uses this product, it works. My dad uses this product, it works. I, I shared one with our neighbor. My neighbor is ecstatic. This is amazing. But that's not even the real deal. The real deal is the world needs this product. In Nigeria, abroad, this product is something that people really need around the world. This is natural. This is from herbs. This is unbelievable. And guess what? The company has a structure in place that allows you to earn phenomenal income by joining them in the crusade or the course of pushing these products. And all I've done is I've gotten involved. I can show you the plan, how it works. It's amazing. You can earn a million naira over the next five to six months by building the team. And the beautiful thing is you're not by yourself. You have support. I will support you. My upline will support you. We have a team. We work together on this. All of us, and it's beautiful. This is not, yes, I'm sure you've heard of network marketing before. I've done a few before myself. It's failed because no support, no teamwork, no training. They throw you out the deep end. You can't swim, you sink. It's only them, them. A few people who know how to do it, do it well. But this can be how you will pay your, your rent. That is due. I will support you. I'll help you plug in with the little you have. I tell people, if what you have is not big enough to take care of your problem, it's not the harvest, it's a seed. Take a bold step. Let's do this together. And this was possible. Now, I've, I've proposed a solution. I've not proposed a solution on how power of four, one billion, three billion, no. I've proposed a solution on how in three months' time you can pay your landlord 50%. In six months' time, you can balance your landlord the rest. And you can have your income stabilized to a point where you can take care of this. For somebody else, their problem may be they are retiring soon. They don't know what to do. For somebody else, their problem may be they are in midlife crisis. They don't know what the future looks like. For somewhere else, they just had information about it. it financial intelligence, I don't know how to build their portfolio. Whatever it is, if your solution is accurate, the result will be looking for action. And once your action can close with an incentive, can close with something that makes you better than tomorrow, bam, you get quick action. Okay? So that's what happens when solution is missing. What happens if I have failed to identify the problem? If the problem is missing. So if the problem is missing, you hear this kind of thing like, I don't have the money, you They'll say, this isn't important to me. They'll say, I need to think about it. They say, I'm, say, I'm not saying no, but I'm not saying yes. They'll say, let me run it about my parents, uncles, kids, friends. They don't want to do. They say, I don't have time. Okay? They'll give you a because bomb. Okay? Uh, and you'll miss up their, you because you have missed their hot buttons, they will never pass with their money. Problem identification is about getting exactly this person's hot button. Everybody has their hot button. Okay, for Chinwe, our hot button is, you know, can I can I build a hostel? Can I make enough money to build an enterprise? Can I get enough money to be able to do my next project? For somebody else, it's financial freedom. Can I can I in my retirement relax and know that all over the world I have a team that is growing with a product that needs to be in every home? This is not about, you know, uh, small small things. This is about real value. Every home, every home needs to have. It is in their home because it's valuable, okay? Because it's something that, you know, every night you will need to use, every morning you need to use. This is not about cosmetic, you know, hey, let me brush my teeth. And let me, no, 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 this is about life. This is about the fact that the body is wearing down on a regular basis. This is a cost that needs to go around the world. And guess what? There's a step in place to ensure that you can earn, but you need to tie it to particular problems. It's where you get people's hotspots. And how do you do this? You do this by stacking of the problems. When people are clear about the problems, then the solutions can make sense. And people have problems. Debts, people have problems with rent, children's school fees, having time with their children, parenting their children properly. People have challenges with, they don't travel abroad, they want to rest. People are worked out, stressed out. People like some fun, making new friends. People think about their future, they are worried in advance. And they find their hot buttons and prescribe the solutions based on those hot buttons. And guess what? How will you ever be able to get the right problem? By focusing on the information that they share with you. So the problem is wrong because the information was not gotten correctly. If the information was gotten correctly, you will not have those problems. Okay? If the information was gotten correctly, you don't have those challenges. So information. So what happens when information is missing? No, we're looking at this immediate yes formula. When information is missing, you hear things like, this is not for me. 
apathy, annihilation. They are not interested. Everything you say will be pointless. It will not make sense to them. Okay? It will not make sense to them. And why it will not make sense to them is because, hey, you are bungled at the level of information. So, hey, this is important to me. They'll ask you, do you have literature? Do you have a brochure? Many times people ask for brochures are saying, man, I don't understand what you're saying. No. Give me something to read. I can't, I can't see why this is good for other people. But I can't see why it is good for me. Why is this good for me? Your information needs to be on point. You need to gather that information from them. You need to hear them out. Know what they're saying. Know what they want. Know their hot buttons. And before you'll be able to get that information, you need their trust. And you need to have Yeah. Hello. Okay. I'm back now. Yeah. So please all those who are making noise at the back. Please be mute. Okay, thank you. Don't worry, we'll be done shortly. Um, I can see all the faces and all the hands again. Okay, good. So let's progress. Uh oh, somebody's playing music. Infinite Oct. Um, I can see Mr. James Osua. I see your video is on. I will disable it. I can see somebody else as well. Okay, so I've tried to pull the videos off. Let's get to it. So if there's no information, people will not be interested. And if they're not interested, then they won't do the business. So the next thing you want to make, make sure that you have covered is trust and credibility. Trust and credibility. And trust and credibility is about, you know, do they trust you? Do they see you as somebody who, you know, yeah, can I, can, I, can I trust this person? Does this person look like what they are trying to sell? Are they making sense? Are they making sense? Is there, is there a connection between what they are trying to push and who they are? If they don't have, if you don't have their trust and their credibility, they will spring the research rocket on you. Okay? And how do you build trust and credibility? With stories. Your personal stories. Your personal connection with what you're selling. What, your personal connection with the opportunity. And it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be out of this world. It can be your own simple, lovely, likable story. I joined this business. I've moved up two levels. This is the vision I see. These are the potentials I see. This is why I'm in. And I want to, you know, I want everybody else to be in with me. I bought this product. I used it. <coughs> it was phenomenal. It was useful. I've given it to a friend to use as well. These were their results. I like the results I get. I like what is happening with people. And I wanted to be a part of this. Your story gives you credibility. If you miss social credibility, they tell you it looks like a pyramid. I need to ask my wife. I'm skeptical. I need to do research. Okay, I have nothing against what you're saying. I just don't want to sign up with you. I want somebody else. Okay, how much have you made doing this? 
they will ask you all sorts of questions. Why? They just feel, no, this, this is not going to work. Okay? So what you want to do is you want to ensure you want to ensure that you build trust and credibility. That's important. And of course, at the foundation of trust and credibility, what gives you good trust and credibility is rapport. A rapport, like I said, is about mirroring. It's about finding similarities, finding touch points. You don't just jump on somebody and begin to share opportunity with them. Okay? Sorry, excuse me. Uh, shall I get a cup of water into my room? You know, you don't just jump on people and begin to share opportunity with them. The first thing you want to do is ensure that there's rapport. Build some relationship. Otherwise, what you will get is a smoke screen. They won't want to reveal much. They won't want to do your business. They will tell you, I don't have money. They'll tell you, I need to think about it. They'll tell you, I'm not saying no, I'm just not saying yes. They'll say, I don't know what it is, but something is not right. They'll give you all forms of cock and bull stories just because there is no rapport. You know, I tell people, the higher the rapport you have, the higher your rapport, the more you don't even have to present anything. I'm sure everyone in this room has friends. They can simply call up and tell them, my friend, I'm doing something. I don't have time to tell you the details yet, but I need you on board. It's going to cost you 140,000 naira because I want you to do a gold package. You're going to get 16 liquid and 16 capsules, but I would like you to do this with me. Now, because we are friends <coughs> and we have rapport, guess what happens? They will do it. I have people that will tell, you know what? I want to travel to Dubai in December. And I need you. I need you to be part of my business. If you would like to drive and come with me, fine. But no problem. Just help me. Let me go in December. When I come back, before I go, once I qualify, I'll, I'll share with you. We can qualify for the next one together. In the next one, we're going to Marrakesh. Or in the next one, we're going to Thailand. Or in the next one, we're going to America. But just join me. Rapport makes presentation easy. And that's why one of the things you want to do as well, even if it's a stranger, build rapport. Things like which secondary school, you know, ah, you are, oh, you also grew up in Lorry. Oh, have you been to Enugu? Ah, but of course, I lived there for one year, you know? Those kind of things form the rapport that allows the communication to happen. And then you can build on it, trust and credibility, gather information, find the problem, provide solution, make action happen, and get results. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. This is the formula ASP, ITRC, ITCR, action, <coughs> solution, problem, information, trust, and credibility, and rapport. And once we lay it on the right foundations, we will have amazing results. We will have amazing results. Okay? This is what I thought them on Thursday. And then I went on to show them how to present their opportunity. How to present your opportunity. I am thinking I should do a repeat of that training on how to present the opportunity tomorrow. I'm going to take a census. If anybody is game for tomorrow i can be available 8 p.m tomorrow so that we don't take this too long i will present this presentation to you how to present you can bring guests so you can get your guests in it will take about 30 minutes to present the opportunity i will drive for an immediate close i will give gifts personally i will encourage everyone who is giving bringing a guest to contribute a gift to be willing to sow into the life of your new prospect in response to immediate yes. So we'll create immediate value tomorrow, Sunday at 8 p.m. If you are interested in that, I will need 20 people saying I am interested on, my, on the window so that I know that this is something that we want and it's not something I'm just suggesting. Okay? So I need to say I am interested. So if I have your I am interested, in the chat column, and I can count 20 when I'm done, then I will do it tomorrow for 8 p.m. I will beg uh, Mr. Alashi to support us and help us, and Mr. Wally to help us support us to make sure that we can do this tomorrow after the one we do offline tomorrow in Lagos. So offline tomorrow in Lagos, we're going to be presenting the opportunity of how to present, 
uh, and guests will be coming. I think we've already have registered about 50 guests. And we want to achieve about 40% there of making sure that 20 of them sign up immediately. And if we're able to achieve more, then that would be amazing. But these are the things that we need to do. And our three Ps in Green Monday, I would like you to master these three Ps. Everybody who is serious about this business, who has an upline, needs to work with their upline. Everybody who doesn't have an upline, uh, who is the upline of the uplines, we need to form our teams, name our teams, form our structures, and do this together. Everybody in your team needs to have 150 prospects. So we need to write a list of 150 prospects. We need to grow this list by 15 every month, which is about 10%. <coughs> So if I start with 150, next month, I must join associations, go for network meetings, go for seminars, go for free meetings, oh, and bears, with the goal of being able to add 15 new people to my list every month. 10%. I must be able to join 10% people to my meeting every month. I must do 15 presentations per month. Four per week. It means I'm doing presentations myself one-on-one. -on -one or I'm inviting them to where my upline will speak. When I count the number of people I have presented to, no cheating, it must be 15 per month. If, I was a, if it was a job I had, I will work my job. My sponsor, my, my boss will ensure I work. This is not a job. This is for you. This is for financial freedom. This is for creating passive income. This week alone, how much anybody who has done their business has earned is times 10. What we end weekly normally, it means the incomes are already growing. If you master this immediate yes formula, operate with this B10X B mentality, your results will go up. I am seeing it already. I've seen people who are earning 1,000 naira already. They are earning 20,000 naira. I looked at my own account, the one I started after we launched Rida. Three, four months ago, I decided to join the business as well and build a team and begin to work. That position, that my position is already two star. Okay, heading for three. And guess what? The income is making sense this week than ever before. So we have done a few things right. We can experience it as well. We can see it for real. 150 prospects, 15 per month, 15 presentations per month, 15 promotions per month. This 15 promotions per month is something I will need to explain. We are going to be doing promotions for our team members. We're going to be promoting them. And we're going to be having people getting promoted in their business, growing learning our investment in promotions will be what we do with social media and what we do to help our people move from rank to rank we're going to celebrate people we're going to celebrate ourselves it's going to be joy fun the green monday brand needs to be a joy brand a fun brand a friendship brand a camaraderie brand a brand that brings and connects people together who have not known each other before they can fall in love they can love up each other we can meet together in dubai Dubai is going to be amazing. I'm sure you've seen the Dubai we went to before. We bonded, we had fun, we went to different places. We had an exciting and exotic time. We're going to do it again, and it's not only Dubai. We're going to do country after country after country, wherever we can get easy visas to go to. And then after a while, we begin to take on bolder spaces like the UK. We'll take bolder places like the US and Canada. So what is this? There are countries we'll go to, and some people will not come back. No problem. People that are not making money at the pool that will not come back. This business, you will make money so that you will go, come back, go again, and have a, an exciting time. But well, these are the th three things, three Ps we're going to be driving. Prospecting, presenting, and promoting. PPP, three Ps that will make Green Monday rock over the next few weeks. People are preparing for September 1 income. September 1 is going to be amazing for a lot of people in their income. And then from September 1, we'll kick off in an amazing way. So people already have about... 15% of the points they need to score in 10,000 PV to qualify for Dubai. So Dubai qualification is already almost gone for some people. I prophesy very simply, not to, from much spiritual knowledge, but what I can see, that by the end of September, we will have 10 qualifiers for Dubai already. By the end of November, it will move from 10 to 30. By the end of December, it will go from 30 to about 70. And I'm prophesying ahead that we may need to split this Christmas in Dubai into two so that one set will go now and maybe the other set will go next year because we'll have too many people that will qualify and be willing to go. 
Now, after this is done, immediately we're going to kick off another one. The beauty of this is what you do now creates for you a team that makes what comes next easier for you to achieve. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be beautiful. It is amazing already, and we can do this together. So today, what have I shared? Very simply, I've shared to you how you can get yes every time you present. And I've shared with you the attitude you need to have. The attitude is B10XB. Be 10 times bolder. When you meet the person, ask yourself, what will I do if I was 10 times bolder? Let that question judge whether you should present or not. Go in the merit of that presentation, of that, of that boldness, and present. When you present and you want to close, ask yourself, will I say, uh, so let's talk about it next time. If I was 10 times bolder, no. If I was 10 times bolder, I would say, can I get your money now? Many of us are not achieving results because we are not bold. By having a, a mental attitude of B10XB, we'll achieve more, we'll prospect more, we'll close more, we'll present more, we'll have more results, we'll go further, we'll talk to more people, we'll present in more places if we're B10XB. And once I'm done, I'm watching my presentation, I'm asking myself, what is the action I want them to take? What solution I'm, I'm preferring? What's the problem I'm solving? What's the information I've gathered? Uh, have I built trust and credibility? Uh, do I have rapport? And if I can put all this together in my presentation, I will have amazing results. So tonight, that's it in a nutshell. Uh, I'm going to ask if there are any questions. Okay, I can see a lot of people are interested in tomorrow already. Wow, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I still need four more people to be interested for us to have it on Sunday. But I can see many of us are interested. So Sunday, 8 p.m., we're going to do this again, most likely. Uh, but are there any questions tonight before we close? I'm going to close the recording, I think, and then I will take questions.